Hey, it's Jim McDonald, uh, www.herbcraft.org. I'm at one of my favorite places, a uh, roadside ditch with lots of plants here in Michigan. And this particular roadside ditch has a bunch of water hemlock growing. Secuta maculata is the Latin name. This is one of the most dangerously poisonous plants, not only in North America, but in the entire world. It is a convulsant poison. If you were to eat it, you would have lots of terrible abdominal cramping, which could lead to a series of full-on seizures until if you've consumed enough, which is not a lot, you would die from either respiratory or cardiac failure. So we definitely want to understand how to identify this plant and not mistake it for other plants. Because it's in the APAC family and it is characterized by these white flowered umbels, many people will feel very nervous about possibly confusing this with wild carrot or Queen Anne's lace, which is, well, it's actually a real carrot, Daucus carrata. It's the same species as the carrot you grow in your garden. What some people might say is that an identifying factor would be that, well, water hemlock, as the name suggests, tends to grow in, in wet areas. And you would find it growing where the soil looks like this. And that's not very good habitat for Queen Anne's lace or wild carrot. And yet, oh look, that's a Queen Anne's lace. That is a wild carrot. Um, so how would we tell the difference between the edible weed medicinal plant vegetable, wild carrot or queen ants lace, and the plant that maybe could be called worst way to die plant, uh, water hemlock. Well, they both have these white flowered umbels. However, you will notice that the queen ants lace umbel, the individual sort of like pom-poms of flowers are a lot closer together than the more separate little pom-poms of flowers. That's a botanical term, pom-pom, um, of the water hemlock. Although I have seen Queen Anne's lace that has uh, little pom-poms of flowers that are a lot more spaced out. On this particular Queen Anne's lace, we can see the little kind of like purple, dark red maroon flower um, that will never be present on water hemlock. And if that is there, it is a distinguishing feature except it's not always there. That car just drove by. Some Queen Anne's lace, some wild carrot just doesn't have that flower, and so it's not a reliable indicator. It's helpful if it's there. If it's not there, we need to look at other things. An important distinguishing factor is that the stems of water hemlock will always be smooth. Um, there will be never any hair or fuzz on them, and the stems of Queen Anne's lace, and let's see if we can get, yeah, you can see it there. They have kind of a hairy fuzz on them. And if you can't even see that, you can feel it with your finger. Uh, a mnemonic device is that the queen has hairy legs. Now, hairy stems rule out most of the potentially toxic members of the APEC family, but not all of them but definitely water hemlock and poison hemlock. But the real key distinguishing feature that makes you know that something is 100% for sure Queen Anne's lace or wild carrot is the very distinctive bract. The elaborate bracts underneath of the flower umbels. Um, there are no other plants in the APAC family that have such elaborate bracts. If we look under some water hemlock blossoms, we can see some little wee, tiny, um, very insubstantial bracts underneath. And that's even more than I normally. Sometimes I might just see one little teeny bract underneath, but we will never see anything like the very distinct bracts under the Queen Anne's lace. So those are some key identifying characteristics for the Queen Anne's lace plant. And we want to make sure we never, 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 never confuse it for water hemlock or possibly poison hemlock or really any other species that isn't the plant you're looking for. So importantly, um, if you gather wild plants for food, for medicine, you not only have to know how to identify the plants that you want to gather, you have to know 
how to identify the plants that you absolutely cannot gather because they are dangerous or worse than that, deadly to yourself or other people.